I'm not rich enough to attract gold diggers yet. That's why I'm still working. Because I, I know I'll be successful enough diggers? when I attract gold diggers. Why? Because they're they're good at smelling who has a lot of money. So, and right now, I still don't have any gold diggers coming at me, you know? Why do you want gold diggers, though? Just for the ego boost? Yeah! You don't have to oh fall in love with God. them. You use them a bit, the same way they are using you. And they boost your ego a little bit, you know? Because they're usually hot and young, and, and you know, they know how to get what they want. And then they know what, what things they can do, you know? So, <laughs> but that's, that's how you know you've made it, right? If gold diggers start coming after you. I mean... Right? I guess that's how you know you made it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I haven't made it yet. Would you marry a gold digger? No, then? that's a dumb move. But you wouldn't know though, because I think they're so good at gold digging that they would be able to convince you that you were in love then with them. Then you need to be good at detecting gold diggers. How? Give them some tests. What are the tests? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet because I don't have that many gold diggers come at me. <laughs> what would be tests? Like you just leave a bunch of money out on the table and see if they take it? I think they will know that's a test. <laughs> I think gold diggers aren't idiots. <laughs> if you leave a bunch of money on the yeah. table, <laughs> oops. Yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> they won't be like, oh yeah, money. <laughs> They'll know it's a test. <laughs> gold diggers are not idiots. I think a test has to be a lot more subtle than that. So, but what it is, I don't know yet. By the way, my pin code is blah, 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 blah. And then you leave your card on the table. Emily thinks gold diggers are idiots. <laughs> I trust you with my card, and by the way, my pin is this, but I trust you, yeah? Wink. <laughs> For sure they know it's a test. <laughs> you know, maybe you hire you know, a private investigator to pretend to befriend her or something, you know? What? Or, or try to guess her intentions, you know? A private investigator. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I don't know. But I know your ideas suck, but I don't know what the good ideas are. I think I could determine if, if somebody was trying to gold dig you. Really? Okay, yeah. I run them by Evelyn. That's yeah, the I run them by me. <laughs> Just shoot down all my potential suitors. Oh my god. Yeah, she's psycho gold digger. I only like two of the people that you've met. Really? Yeah. How many have I shown you? Two. Or no, five? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Five, maybe? Half the people. Yeah. But they are also the people that didn't want to have anything long term with you. Oh no. Ouch. I know. <laughs> That's an attack. Ouch. <laughs> Are you are you really sad no, now? No, 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 I'm not. It's funny as fuck. Oh it's funny God. because it's true. It's true. Yeah. The people Evelyn thinks are nice people, they want to have nothing to do with me. I'm actually going for a drink with one of them in a week. What? Yeah. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> one day I'll find someone Evelyn likes who also wants to be with me. <laughs> Who's not a gold digger. Well, you, you'll, you'll suss that out, right? Digger. Yeah. You'll suss that out. We'll eat at a restaurant. I'll go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and then when, I, when I'm gone, you're like, you so. Me <laughs> How did that happen? How did that happen? I just slammed my head on the table. Do it again. Do it again. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> did you do how did it happen? <laughs> Maybe my phone fell on it or something. Oh you know, we, go, we caught it on camera. So that's great. So. <laughs> I mean, it really, it was so it's such a great moment. Yeah, it was, it was such a so great moment. Fitting. Yeah, I would totally do that. <laughs> no, you make me like... feel special. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, no, we'll play uh, like good cop, bad cop, you know. Yeah, you do that yeah. detective pose, you know, yeah. you stand up. So <laughs> what do you like about Nigel? Tell me. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> If she mentions like, oh, That's he a has a nice pose, house. Right? You always yeah. have to do this. It's yeah. the bad cop pose. Yeah. Uh, and then the good cop comes in like, so I heard. Do you want that, some coffee? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a burger? We'll be done soon. We'll yeah. be done soon. But if they mention like, they're like, he has a nice house. He uh, has a nice car. He always wears really nice watches. And he always treats me to dinner. Then I'll know that they're a gold digger. Again, you assume they're idiots. <laughs> You're so... <laughs> Maybe I'm not the best person yeah. to detect gold diggers. Of course, a gold digger would say he just has such a great personality. <laughs> I think the real test is saying like, tell me more, tell me more. Let, oh! Right? So if, if, a gold digger would say, ah, I just like him for a personality. I think the moment we met, we just clicked and I knew I wanted to be with him. A gold digger would say something like this, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. You, how would you and, know? And then you would have him? to say like, okay, well, what, what, what about what him do you like? Because, yeah. you know. I find him so annoying. So I, I don't know what you see in him. And then see what the answer is. If the answer is like, 
Oh my god, yeah, I totally find him annoying too. If they can, she can joke around with you, I think that's that's good. Oh, I see. But if they start getting really sincere, oh no, Evelyn, I think you're not you're misunderstanding him. He's such a nice guy on the inside. Then you know she's faking it because I'm not that person. I'm not. I'm not nice on the inside. You know that that's exactly what Swedish woman said to me. Really. Yeah, when, when you, I was at the toilet or something. Oh toilet, no! She was like, "Oh my god!" She was like, "Well, you know, I mean, he has an ego and stuff, but I've never met a person like that. I mean, I find it really funny and endearing." And I was like, "Uh." <laughs> <laughs> you should I was have like, told me that the from the beginning. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe she was your first gold digger. No, was she? Maybe. Well, she stopped, I and mean, she's with a poor guy now. So. Oh no, yeah. No, oh, she's, she's just like. She's not psycho. Really? She's not a gold digger. She's okay. a psycho. She's just psycho. But because every other person that I've met, you've dated, they've always been like, "Oh, how do you put up with him?" Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that means they're genuine. Yeah, that means I think they're that's a genuine. reaction. Yeah. So to all the gold diggers listening oh, to this shit. episode, they're gonna know what to say now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! We have to come up with some new tests in the yeah, future. Yeah, we have to come up with new tests. New tests for Nigel Skull uh, That's so uh, funny, though. Oh, uh, I should have trusted your. That's what ticked your alarm bells off, I guess. One of the things that kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so funny. <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? Very tragic. Very tragic. <laughs> well, I mean, nobody can really tell. Nobody it's really okay. Tell. I'm over it now. Are you? Yeah. Aww. Although the only thing I took away from it, she has really good taste in wine. So I, I just drink the wine she likes because it's like, I hate this bitch, but this wine is so good. Maybe she learned it from other people she was gold digging. It probably was. <laughs> it probably was. So I'm like, thank you. At least I got something out of it. You know, yeah. a Valpolicella. Yeah. You know, I go for the classical, the Ripasso, the Amaroni. You're such a like leading man in a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> Am I supposed to feel bad about that? I mean, no, but like... In that case, you're destined to meet somebody who doesn't care about wine, who's like down to earth, who's like from the rough neighborhood, whatever. Like a Jennifer Lopez kind of type in Made in Manhattan. That's your, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. Who's going to bring you down a notch. Sure. And make you more humble. I'll run them by you, yeah? Yeah. I'll run them by you. <laughs> yeah, sure. The final test. I'll, and I'll bring it up to them really casually. Hey, so, you know, my podcast co-host in town, you want to join us for dinner? You know, I will yeah. let them know it's a test, of course. Yeah, they can't know it's a test. Yeah. And then I'll be like, so, do you like Nigel's money? <laughs> 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 he has a lot of money, you know. Isn't that great? <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> They're going to think I hired you to say nice things about me. <laughs> well, I will <laughs> Awful personality, but a lot of money. Great money. A nice car, a nice house. He likes good wine. Good stuff, right? That's what you like, right? <laughs> Has he left his card out on the table? Oh, sometimes he just leaves money out on the table. It's fine. Yeah. You can take it. Here, here. Here's the Patreon money. Can you hand it to him later? Let's get a stack of cash. Oh, I, I need the ghost. So can you hand it to him later? I mean, it's Patreon money. He he doesn't even notice it. So if he doesn't get it, he probably won't notice it. Yeah, just hold on to it. You know, <laughs> give it to him when you get a chance. 